Hey, we went to. We did a couple days ago. We did this. Uh, a week reading for for the air for the fire signs. And today we're going to try our best to do the tarot reading for the air signs, which includes Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And uh, so, first question that we came up with, the question is, should we do the cards upside down, aka reverse, or should we just, should we just do them front up? I personally like doing the front up um, because, let's be honest here guys, they are easier for me to interpret. Um, because upside down is not mean the opposite. Okay. So, I mean, if you could, yeah, if you wanted to read them that way, but then again, some would say, that's not really what tarot is, so. But we're not going to do the upside down today. I want to see if, I mean, first of all, I would like to see some positive energies for the different signs. Well, since the letters are A, G, and L, Aquarius, Gemini and Libra, based in alphabetical order. That is how we're going to start. As I'm going to start with the Aquarius, Gemini, and then Libra, because that way everybody can find the readings. Okay. Please understand these are general readings. They may not resonate with everybody. Please check your other signs in your chart, such as your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. Uh, it wouldn't hurt to have. So, we'll start with Aquarius first. So, Mother God, Father God, Angel, Spirit, guides, give me the week reading for Aquarius from the 19th, that's today. You can see, yeah, we'll start with today, 19th, that's Tuesday until next Tuesday. Okay. So, the 19th until 7 days from now will be the 26th. Okay. The 19th through 26th for Aquarius. Curious. Mother God, Father God, Angels, Holy Spirit. Uh, we're going to not do reversals. So no reversals. Just, just break these up. Keep it simple, please, because I'm still going to do this for the week starting on the 19th of July 2022. So, oops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, too many. Alright, so we'll start with one at a time. Okay, so we're just going to do up face up because that works better for me. Hmm, interesting. Why is heartbreak here? Um, hmm. Let's see, Aquarius has got a problem. explain what I got on the table there. We start out with the heartbreak card, the Seer of Swords. Now, we don't know why there's a heartbreak card here. I don't know why that's there. I gotta find out that. Then we got the competition sham. You can see the guys are like looking at each other like they're fighting over something. This could be a relationship that Aquarius is in this week. That might be where the problem starts. Then we have the Eight of Wands. The Lover's Card. And the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so it looks like we got a couple different readings. It looks like there's a romance and possibly a finance reading at the same time. But I really seriously wonder why is the Eight of Wands here. Because the Eight of Wands is kind of... Um, uh, unusual. Now, unlike the sharp and pointies, um, wands, um, yeah, it isn't quite in the same line. Crossroads, progress, success, growth, beginning, promise. Crossroads. Progress. Okay. So, 
these are obviously where you are right now. Okay? She's got a broken heart or something. Something's, something has broken your heart. I don't know what happened to you, Aquarius. I don't know what broke your heart because uh, anything. It could be a relationship that failed. This card indicates competition sham. Um, maybe turns out that maybe the person wasn't faithful to you. It's, it seems to be that way because Five of Wands, like I said, competition sham. Yeah. Competition sh sham. Disorganized disputes, legal issues. Okay. I think these two cards go together. But the thing is, so it looks like you got two different readings at the same time. Thanks, Mom. I really appreciate what I said. Keep it simple. You told me you need to two readings in the same reading. All right, so let's clarify this five of wands because obviously, honestly, I wonder what's going on with you, Aquarius. What's going on with you, huh? What's the matter with you? Hey, what's the matter with you? Clarify. This three of swords, please. Mother God, Father God, angel, spirit guides. Clarify this three of swords. Come on. Clarify the three of swords. Clarify the three of swords. For Aquarius. What is the three of swords here for? Three of swords. This seems like it's kind of funny. I had to start right out with that. Before I was making any assumptions, Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. Queen of Pentacles. Now, I'm just verifying here. Queen is a dutiful and sympathetic with mother of her double disagree with the Pentagon. <coughs> this could be referring to finance, as it seems like most of this reading seems to be falling in the way of finance. <coughs> maybe you lost maybe a job that you loved in something. Maybe somebody basically, or someone has taken your, maybe you applied for a job, and a friend or someone else had taken your job instead. In other words, they beat you to the punch, or they uh, were better qualified. And you basically found yourself totally like, now what? Okay, so something obviously happened with that, is that your whole plan of being financially stable has gone awry. Okay, but just to be safe, let's clarify that five of wands too, because this clarify the five of wands, please. I only have two decks, and so I only I only can do so much with the two decks. I'm gonna try to do the best I can. Clarify the five of ones, please. Three of ones. Three of ones. Fruition, accomplishment, choice, effort. Okay. <sighs> Sounds like there may have been a partnership at one time, and the um, 
You put a lot of effort into it, this partnership, but it's just not working. The other party has basically maybe left you, went out and started their own job, leaving you basically high and dry. So basically, maybe they were originally were partners, and then he or she may have gone to gotten the opportunity promotion and you didn't get it. You were hoping to get it, but you didn't. So you basically feel like now, what was one time your partnership, maybe a co-worker, maybe a friend, is no longer your friend anymore. Because he, well maybe he's still a friend, but maybe you're right, pissed at him. The fact is that you were hoping to get this job. Thus, this is why you have the Queen of Pentacles. You are looking for financial stability. And it, or some other means of, you know, security. That's why you got the heart break. Because you didn't get that security. Okay? You didn't get it. More than likely, your friend, when you guys were partners, he decided to go into a competition with you. And the opportunity came up and he said, screw it. We both want the same job. Yeah. Screw the partnership. I'm going for the job. See, so in other words, you basically lost out. However, however, there is good news here for you. Oh, it's not lost because you got this. The eight of eight of ones. This is crossroads. That means that Hold on, Bucko, things are going to change. You're in a crossroads here. You're going to overcome if you got your eight of wands telling you, hey, buddy, or lady, whichever case may be. The opportunity is there for you, yeah. But because you're going to make progress, you're going to have a success. There's a success. This is where you were. This is the past. This is over. These, these cars are done. Please you with these two cards, which is both the Lover's card and the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles means completion. The Lover's card and the Ten of Pentacles. Now the Lover's card, just to refresh my mind, um, is... It is hot out here, so I'm going to get this done here. Love, beauty, synergy. So some kind of a love relationship, maybe a relationship or romance, but can still give you this sense of security, wealth, abundance. So that's good. This is, but this is an end. This is a, so this is the end result, more than likely, of these three cards. But, what happens now? Because now if you have love, you have, it, it, it's not an eight, remember a pentacle, I mean the ten of pentacles, or actually ten of any card, is kind of a combination of an ace of pentacles, and in this case, in a completion card, okay? So the question is, what happens now? What happens now? What's the next? And I sense it's like a chapter of your life. I got a feeling this isn't done. Mother God is. I got a feeling she's got something up her sleeve. Um, what happens after? Now that there's the financial security, what happens now? I don't think it's the end, is it? And I get the impression that the answer is no. <laughs> oh, no. The devil. Jeez, you can't win, can you? Bondage. Bondage. Maybe you had something with this relationship with this person, everything was great. But the honeymoon's over now. Now you're like enslaved to this person. Wow. You're enslaved to something. As I said, I sense it's a lover. Maybe it's a lover. Maybe it was a bad love affair or relationship that just went awry and caused you to basically just totally you know, get stuck in something. Clarify the devil part, please. 
Let's clarify that double card. Let's clarify that double card. Cards is also the card of the Capricorn, by the way. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Interesting. The double is cleared by the Ace of Pentacles. Why is that? Ace of Pentacles. You have the potential here of having again a new start. It was almost like you suffered a loss, but now you're stuck because of the double card. In other words, you got into this relationship or a job. It could be a job. I got a feeling it's a really, it's a, it's it's either a job or possibly a relationship, and you you fell in love. You had something go. I think this is a relationship. Yeah, you fell in love. Everybody was happy. Everybody was thinking by uh, you and this beautiful person. You know, you were happy for a while, but. Turns out the person wasn't quite what you expected, and they, you know, they turned out to be kind of enslaving you or making you feel like you're trapped in bondage. Probably more than likely because of the Ace of Pentacles energy. You realize, hey, if I stay, I mean, if I leave, I'm going to lose this. I'm going to lose my security. It's like it's a catch-22 here. So let's ask a what if question. This is a tough reading here. What if Aquarius decides to break away from the double card? What if Aquarius breaks away from the double card? Because I got a feeling there's a what if question. It's almost like an if then card. Because I like to see if there's an alternative. Bondage because of money is not sound like something I want. What happened if Aquarius was to break away from the devil? Which means you'd be taking a risk because you're staying with this person because they have money. What really what I'm asking is what happens if you leave that person? What happens if you finally break free of them? The thing that's holding you back. Eight of Pentacles. So either way, you still, you still got it together. So basically, what it means is you go to Eight of Pentacles, right? And it says, Eight of Pentacles says, commissions. Craftsmanship, productivity, efficiency. In other words, if you leave, you can still achieve your equivalent of Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, without the double by using your own efforts. In other words, not codependence. That's what I'm meeting you said. Codependence here. It's like your. You're saying is, am I going to stay with this person because if they're going to give me the financial balance, I the Ace of Pentacles if I stay with the devil. But if you decide to tell the devil to take a walk, guess what? You can still achieve success with your own merits and your own craftsmanship and your own hobbies. It's up to you, Aquarius. You're going to decide what you're going to do. That's why I said. Because obviously, the first way you're making financial stability was totally washed out. Maybe a friend basically took the job you wanted, and therefore, you are now saying, i got to do something to make a living. And you found somebody you love, you had a thing, you had it all going good, and you were happy, you had your ten pickles, and all of a sudden, they turned out to be a real scumbag. And now, all of a sudden, but you realize if you leave them that you're going to basically lose the pentacles. But you don't realize at the same time is the eight of pentacles says 
Yes, you can still have it, but you're gonna have to you're gonna have to show your own skill set. Very interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. Doesn't put you off. It doesn't say you can't succeed. It just says that's the answer. You can achieve it. Okay. That's up to you. If you want to tell the devil to go take a walk, I would. But it's up to you. Remember, tarot readers, we we are just giving you the possible outcome. It's up to you to put the legwork in. We're not. Nothing in tarot is passive. There's no. That's like anything in life. There is no passivity here. If you don't do the work, you can't get the results. Okay? That's just it. No pain, no gain. And I understand that the double is definitely it's a major pain. But it can still succeed. But you gotta take that initiative and say, I'm leaving. If that's what it comes down to. If of you, Alright, I understand. I get it. Okay. So, uh, the next thing is what's going to happen for the next reading? I'm going to get as many readings as I can. Say, we're doing all the other signs because it's hot and I don't want to sit here all day and cook like a sausage. Okay, so let's do Gemini, the twins. Okay, Gemini, we're going to do you now. Mother God, same guidelines, um, Mother God, Father God, Angel Spirit Guide, what is the reading for Gemini from the 19th until the 26th of July? What's the story for Gemini from the 19th to the 26th of July? 19th of the 26th, 19th through the 26th of July. Mother of the God, Angel Spirit, okay? keep it simple, please. Don't read your souls. Just keeping it simple. It's so hot, I don't even want to sit up here and do a I'm really starting to cook here. And I get a fan blow. Alright, so let's take a look at Gemini's. Ooh. Not good. I'll read the question in a second. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, so let's start with these cards first. <sighs> we got the Eight of Swords. Okay, <laughs> this card is like this person is like wrapped up in something. Not exactly in a good position. Her eyes are covered. She's got the sharp and pointies poking at her. And every which way. Not a good card at all. No. So something Gemini tells me that you have got to deal with the sharp and pointies. It's starting out with um, in a conflict and turmoil, bone my fears, blind to the truth. In a conflict and turmoil, bone my fears. Okay, bone my fears. Well, she's obviously bound by something, right? It seems to be wrapped up. However, you got the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands. Now, you can see that these two women are happy. So something is going to work out for you, Germany, but what is this Six of Wands energy? What is it? See, I have to see the book of the right side ups. And as I get lost, because there's so many possibilities, I'm getting better at that. Okay, six of wands energy. Recognition, success, homecoming. Then you get the three of wands. Yeah. 
something number you're gonna accomplish something. You're going to accomplish something. Okay. Queen of Cups is that's water energy. It says here, a dreamy woman holding the cup of her imagination relies on intuition and feelings. Attachment, devotion. So something's going on here. And the Knight of Wands. Okay. Oh, and the Knights are kind of like a messenger. You saw it as a Vapana journey. So something's going to change for you. So right now, it looks like. You're going to overcome this, and you will achieve this. The Six of Wands energy. You can see the two women are happy here. Upon that, it's going to lead to the Three of Wands, which, as I said before, and I have to remember, it looks he's looking ahead. So I can see that he's looking ahead to fruition, accomplishment. He's got to accomplish something. Okay. The six of wands is looking at so he's got some success here. Maybe he started out with some where he had problems, and now he's beginning to move in towards success. And a page of cups said pregnant with creativity, possibilities. This is feeling and emotion energy, this is water energy. You're going to be on a journey of some sort. So the question is, what is the journey? What is it? Okay, why is the Knight of Wands here? Why is the Knight of Wands here? Why is the Knight of Wands here? Here. Wow, nine of cups. Nine of cups. Concord commitment fulfilled. Wishes. In other words, it sounds like it started out with an idea. People probably said, you have no idea what the hell you're doing. You're living in a fantasy world. But, you worked on it, you studied it, you planned it, whatever it is. And through hard perseverance work, you are now progressing or moving on with whatever it is you started with. This could be anything. This has to do with creativity. So, thus, the woman pregnant with possibilities, creativity. I think it might be an art, a book, a piece of music that you're working on. Thus, the Knight of Wands is saying is. You're on a journey. You're moving on, baby. You're moving on. You're going somewhere. The end result is you succeed. You're in the process. You are in the process of making that happen. So you wish you went from total lack of knowledge. Probably you were just starting out as an idea and saying to yourself, I don't even know what I'm doing. And you had some delusional granddaughter. Maybe you thought that you knew what to do, and you weren't sure. I mean, that's why you were fearful. Because you were taking a chance at something new. So it sounds to me, Gemini, like what it is, is now you're moving on. You're taking that, you grab the bull by the horns. You said, screw it. 
I'm not stopping. I don't care how much you make me supposed to be feel afraid. I'm going to try it anyway. So you're determined to succeed. And in doing so, that's exactly what you do. You achieve success in your pursuit. Whatever the project was you were doing, whatever it is, you're going to succeed at it. That's a good reading. I like those kind of readings. Because it's telling me is you're not giving up. How many people says so he's carding out like go, it's too hard. I'm afraid to. And then the end result is nothing happens. You have said, screw that. I'm going to do it anyway. And that's why you are going to succeed in whatever the creative venture is you're doing, Gemini. Give yourself a pat on the back. You are actually going to achieve some greatness. All right, last card of the air signs is Libra. Now, Libra is... Very powerful. Okay. Libra is the scales. Libra is me. Is a level headed, level headed, calm, relaxed, cool, collected um, air sign. Like she's the scale. Or he or she is the scales. You guys are the ones that look at things and try to find balance. So I'd love to see what your reading shows me today, Libra. What kind of balance do you do? What is it you're going to be going on, Libra? What's going on for Libra from the 19th until the 25th of 2020, or 26th? What's going on for Libra from the 19th to the 26th of July? Mother God, Father God, Angel Spirit Guides, keep it simple. No reversals. Let's get this in for Libra. Come on, what's going on for Libra? What is Libra going to do today? What is Libra's future this week? Okay, so let's get this started here. Ace of Pentacles. Whoa. <laughs> That's a good start. Judgment card. Temperance card. The Seven of Wands. Ooh, this guy is ready to fight. And last one is the, th the Four of Pentacles. Wow. Labor, you got something going on here. Ace of Pentacles, maybe you have achieved success, wealth. It may not be necessarily money, but it may be something that is of earthly need. Wealth, housing, clothing, um, food. Okay, but you obviously achieved it. But then you have the temperance judgment card. This one card by its nature is not necessarily a bad card. It just means let's see. Redemption, renewal, improvement. Yes. Okay. So you obviously, Gemini, I mean Libra, you're getting ahead. You're getting ahead. But you do get the temperance card, which if, if you can see Temperance is kind of like mm, somebody who's thinking about it, evaluating it. Number 16. Let's see. I'm terrible at reading the numbers. 14. Moderation. Management, comedy, accommodation. So yeah, something is yeah. making some adjustments for whatever reason. Because you also got the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is raring to go. 
current advantage, I'd rather you're obviously fighting for maybe moving on ahead. Maybe you're trying to improve something because we have the four pentacles in the end. I wonder if there's something in the finances that you're trying to achieve. Yeah, I wonder about that. Like a sea, inheritance, sound, judgment, thrift. Okay, so you're obviously, you're saving your money. Maybe you decided you're going to wait. Even though you're financially stable, you got some, you got plans to buy something. So this is where you're saying to yourself is, hmm, gee, this is interesting. What should I do here? I mean, you're trying to decide, you're trying to make a decision. I believe this is a card of Libra, but I might be wrong. Clearly, the temperance card is saying is, you're trying to make a decision. You want to get something, but you don't want to blow it up. Okay? What, what can... What is, is the next card after the Four of Pentacles? I got a feeling this. I want to know does, does Libra succeed at their goal? Does Libra succeed after what they did with the Four of Pentacles? Let me see what the next card is. I got a feeling there's an answer to that. Did Libra get, get what they want? Did they achieve it? Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. They obviously, you were saving up for something here. More than likely. And in that case, the Three of Pentacles says expertise, enterprise skill, teamwork, ability, or cognition. So, in other words, skill. In other words, this is based on your skill, your, your ability. Teamwork is also the key word here. So there's a teamwork effect. You can see this person looks like they're a carpenter or a craftsperson. So, yeah. So it looks like you're definitely in the pentacle heavy level of Libra. It looks like something is going to reach you. You're going to achieve something. This meeting is of the three. It's probably the simplest one because it doesn't seem to be too many dark alleys here. But things change. They hang me up. So one thing is going to change. Okay. Something is going to change. So next card after the hangman. Empress. Empress. <laughs> wow, we. Pregnant with possibilities for wisdom, creativity, abundance, and nourishment, harmony, and aesthetic. In other words, it's gonna. You're having a little bit of a crossroads, but you're still going to achieve because the Empress is on your side. Because you're still capable of achieving that. Sometimes I feel like I'm playing card sharks here. What's the card after the Empress? The Chariot. Oh, you're moving on to something better or moving on to new opportunities. What about that? Hit me. The Royal of Fortune. Okay. <laughs> Libra, Libra, Libra. Right now, you are clearly moving on into something positive here. Okay. You had some setbacks. The more major, but, you know, because you have the, this hangman, we seem to be saying, hold on a minute, I'm glad everything's going good for you now, but it's going to get better. Because you got to move on. 
And then when you do, once you give on, move on, you get the Empress and says, hey, the opportunity is still there. You still can get something better. Maybe something a better opportunity to be seeing creativity. Then you get the criteria that says, okay, so you're going to look, you're going to move on from the past to the future. And the future says straight out is, baby, you made it. Okay, so Libra, it sounds to me. I said, yeah, yeah, you are going to achieve something. Wow, that is amazing. Aquarius, I'm sorry, your cards were a mess. Uh, I really kind of wish. All right, well, well, that we've done that, let's do, why not? We already did fire, we've already done air, let's do earth. It seems earth seems to be showing up here. Earth is Capricorn, um, Taurus, and Virgo. So, CVT, okay? CVT. So let's do Capricorn first. What's the story for Capricorn from the 19th of July until the 26th of the month of October? Okay. What's the story with Capricorn from the 19th of July to the 26th of July? No reversals. Keep it simple, please. I always like when it's simple, it makes it easy for me, you know, this much. Keep it simple on reversals. Ooh, your garden. You got, you're putting up a fortress. You're putting up a wall. There's wands. Ah, jeez. Fear factor. Six of wands again. Possible partnerships. Progress of some sort. Knight of Pentacles. Sounds familiar. And the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so. You're guarding yourself. You're building a fortress. That's what this line of wands means. Okay? You're building up defenses to something. You're you're defending yourself. Okay? But at the same time, we have the page of wands. The pages are kind of like messengers. <clears throat> page of wands. Page of wands. Young figure in there, but proclamation. Okay. Whatever he's proclaiming is causing you fear. You're afraid of something. Which makes sense because that's why you started building up this wall. But then you're like, okay. So you're building up a wall, you're fortifying the wall. Okay. He's proclaiming something to you. Could be good, could be bad. Doesn't matter. It just because you're still fearful of internal conflict. But at the same time you got the partnership, you got this color that could indicate that you could go back to the six of wands again. It's got a lot lot of wands in here. Recognition success. You're going to be successful homecoming. Okay? So whatever it is, it's not going to stay bad. The Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. Oh, this is interesting. Points the way to prosperity through hard work and focus. And in the process of doing your hard work and focus, 
You got the nine of cups. Wow. Contentment, filled wishes. So whatever it is you're wishing is, you'll get it. You'll get it. You're gonna get your wish. It's pretty simple. Let's. But what is this wish? Well, clearly, we're pretty guarded at first. Then, you overcome that, and you say, screw it. I'm going to try it anyway. You do manage to succeed. Because you overcome your fear, you're making success. You're making movements in the right direction. And here's a little messenger proclaiming that I'm leading you to success because of your hard work, your wishes are going to be fulfilled. Not bad. You have the opportunity to do great things, Capricorn. Fantastic. Love it. Like I said to Mother God, keep it simple, please. Now, if you think these readings are a little too simple, um, I can assure you they can get really complicated really quick, as we saw in the first reading. For Aquarius, I mean for Aquarius. They can get really messy, very quick. All right, so now we've got to deal with Virgo. Okay, Virgo, now it's your turn. Father God, Mother God, Angel Spirit Guides, what is the story for Virgo from the 19th of July to the 26th of July? Two. Keep it simple, please. No reversals, okay? This is for Virgo. Hey, Virgo, let's keep it simple. What is Virgo? Can Virgo expect for July from the 19th to the 26th of 2022? Uh oh. Despair. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. Okay, it's not happy. Okay. However, he's taking a break. He's resting. Maybe he's realizing, oh, you know what? This is our only devastating. I'm just going to take a break from it, come less for a little bit. And when he does, celebration of some sort. If he's like, I we're going all of he's probably doing, he's thinking about. Why is he in despair and why is he miserable? And then he comes up with the answer that makes sense, whatever it is. He gets the Ten of Wands energy. With all his responsibilities are dealt with. He's all set. All responsibilities is off his chart. He doesn't have to worry about whatever was causing him hardships that made him feel despair is over. He has achieved at least freedom from that. And the end result is. Unfortunately, the Nine of Wands, the sharp and pointy despair again. Nothing goes wrong. Again. So it sounds like Virgo is in a yo-yo factor here. Virgo's like, oh, I was so happy. Virgo was devastated. Then I thought of a solution. Then I had happiness. And then all of a sudden, all my responsibilities, all my hardships are gone. And then all this bullshit happens again. Okay, so what happens after that? Oh, you turn your back on something. You, you, you leave something behind. What's next after that? King of Cups energy. This is going to get more complicated than I'd like, but okay. I sense some of these be anything, honestly. As I said, he's got the spare card. Then he's taking a break, calms down, thinks about what is wrong, comes up with a solution, gives him the four of wands, celebration card. Everything's happy, all the burdens are off the table. 
then somehow something happened again that totally caused despair because of sharp and pointies. Or sharp and pointy. So something goes wrong with that. Again. So the Virgo is turning their back on something. Somebody ate eight cups. This person is leaving those cups behind. This person is saying, sorry, I don't want these cups. I want to walk away from the cups. I don't want to deal with the cups. This is emotional energy, whatever it is. The enemy cell is king of cups. The road is the urge to nature, humanitarian, and compassion. Okay. Humanitarian compassion. <clears throat> so maybe somebody, maybe somebody is going to help you. Maybe it's somebody that actually help encourage you to turn your back on those cups. Uh, I get it. That's me. I get it. Right <laughs> I think I know what's going on. Going through something similar in my own life. Um, through this week. Which be a great start of conversation. Alright, so let's pull one more card out. The King of Wands, again. So you got the King of Cups, you got the King of Wands now. Bodies, growth, and new beginnings. Authority, enthusiasm. Okay. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of me in here, so let me read this to you from my perspective. Maybe you will get this. Maybe you won't. This is, sounds like this is what's going on with me, so, because I'm a Virgo anyway, except. So, would you come up here right now, Rusty? I don't get enough cards to worry about. Um, you're not happy with something that's going on in your life. Something has gone wrong, just to despair. Uh, in my case, it's what was going on my YouTube channel. So I thought about it. I have a lessons card here. And I said to myself as well, you know, let me see if there's some way I can turn that frown upside down. It took a while. It didn't happen overnight. Despite what the cards might look like. Upon thinking about this solution, I said, hey, I got an idea. In my case, I said, why don't we change our channel plan? I Let's go to spirituality, tarot reading, video games. And let's... And I was happily celebrating the change because I felt it was very doable. It is. That meant that all the BS that started with this card was over. Okay, no longer was my channel going to be the channel for to be uh, bullshitting and locale and LOL, CLW, locale. Because I changed my goal, changed my plan. And that sounds great. But then you realize so many people didn't like that. Less in despair, people were angry at you. You're sitting there going, oh, you know, but you know you had to do it. You know you had to move on, whatever reason you have to. And so you're sitting going, okay, now this sucks. I feel like it's like I failed somewhere. However, realizing the outcome is if you go back to the way it was before, but you said, screw, I don't want to go back to that kind of crap of phone calls and stupid jokes and I mean I go to phone calls by the way. It's just it's not a regular circular thing. I just I said, I don't want that. I don't want to go back to that. That's 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 lame. That sucks. That's that's 
that's what I'm reading. It's something similar here. You, you're saying the same thing. Whatever it was, you don't want to go back there. You've already basically said, screw that. The King of Cups is saying, hey, good news, good news, good news. Good news. You're going to be achieving something with the arts. Humanitarian. And then the King of Wands kind of agrees with the King of Cups because the King of Wands is saying exhort embodies growth and new beginnings. In other words, now you started over. You want from bullshit being a local, being disgraced, being unhappy to something where, hey, I'm doing something with my life. I'm achieving something. And these two cards are saying that together. They're saying, you can do it. You can do it. Think about it. Remember, this is perfect. All you have to do is just put, put the apple in. For you, that means possibly taking a break from whatever is causing you to feel this despair, unhappiness. Put this card away. Take a break for a while. However, it means. And just chill. And then one day, you're going to wake up and you're going to feel refreshed, renewed, but you're not dealing with the bullshit in the past. It's gone. It's over. And not only that, but all the bullshit responsibilities that you are being thrust upon you is coming to an end. That is going to totally liberate you. You're not going to be stuck anymore. But there are things that are going to make some people upset, make you mad, and make you feel bad like you're doing the wrong decision. But, but, upon hindsight, you say, I don't want to go back to that. You're feeding me. No way. Screw it. <laughs> so that's where these two cut. These two kings are on your side. Philippe Virgo. They're saying, guess what? You don't have to. Grab the bull by the horns and you can achieve it. Okay. That's a great reading. That's a happy reading. It's a little bit of a challenge, but it's not too bad. You can actually overcome it. We're now going to do a Taurus. Now, Taurus is, uh, well, kind of a challenge. Because Taurus is to be stubborn and they don't always want to change anything. So, let's see what we can do for Taurus here. Father God, Mother God, Angel, Spirit God, what's the story for Taurus from July 19th to July 26th, 2020? July 19th through the 26th, 2020. 19th to the 26th, 2020 for Taurus. So please keep it simple in the reversals. Personally, I don't like reversals. I don't really want them very much. I really don't. I'll do them if I have people who really want them, but I don't like the reversals. I really don't. Um, so then I have to keep looking at the book constantly. Someday I want to try to be able to do like the other readings as well. And, um, but for right now I'm not doing that because I don't want to lose my cards all over the floor or all over the porch. Okay? So what's the story for Taurus? July 19th through the 26th. Please keep it simple, Mother God. Father God, angels, Holy spirit. I just want to keep it simple for Taurus. Woo! That's a good card. The moon card. Ten of cups. Ah. The wheel of fortune. Ooh, Taurus, you got some goodness here. Seven of wands again. Three of pentacles. Hell, I could give you hell, I could read, I could read, give you your whole reading right now. Taurus, 
It's so simple. The moon energy, power, baby, means arcana, the moon. Wow, we. Gotta admit, I love the moon card. It's, it's one of the cool cards. It's actually, it's it's uh, it's a uh, eighteen. Transformation, natural cycles, intense emotions, spiritual awakening. Which means this has to do with emotions. The happy couple, the ten of cups. It's a man and woman, they're happy. This is a card of emotion. Clearly for Taurus, this has to do with a partnership, a relationship, a romance. And not only that, but we reaffirm it with the real fortune. Dang, Taurus. Wow. Success, destiny, letting go of control, felicity, change, shifting elements. Destiny, success. You're busting tail, baby. You're busting tail. You're working that, whatever it is. You got the seven of wands here. I sometimes do need to refresh my mind when I look at the seven of wands. Oh, just... Yeah, courage advantage. Higher my... So you're courageous. You're courageous. You're working towards a goal. You, maybe because of the success of the relationship, the Wheel of Fortune card, in your saying, is, I want to achieve something. So now you show your craftsmanship. This is you building something or working on something with your skills in the Three of Pentacles. Wow. All right. What's the next card in the series? What's the that happened after the Three of Pentacles? The Empress. Wow, well, you got something going here. Wow, we pregnant with the possibilities, fruitfulness, creativity, abundance, nourishment, harmony, fulfilling. You're going to do fine. You have got it together. You don't even have a bad card in the set. One, you got. This, a relationship, spirituality. This, maybe you find a partner. You like, maybe the one that you're going to, maybe in the future, possibly, maybe a partnership, a, 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 a boyfriend, girlfriend, going steady, maybe. Okay, this is a transformation card. And the Wheel of Fortune confirms that. Hey, you're doing it good. You're succeeding. You're doing it. And then, of course, you're taking the risk of other things too. This is this is actually two readings in one, actually. So whatever it is, you're taking the courageous. You're you're saying, I'm gonna keep moving on ahead. Maybe it's with that relationship. So you work on your skills, whatever they are. In this case, this card, three of pentacles. Shows a person doing some kind of craftsmanship, like sculpting. Looks like they're sculpting or making something. Okay, totally cool. And then in the end result is the the Empress. Taurus, you got nothing to worry about. You've got only thing you have to do is you just get to say yes to do it. But Taurus by nature, Taurus is a pretty laid back, so it's up to you. I'm wondering if, what if, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just curious, what would happen if 
Taurus chose not to do the Seven of Wands. Given the Taurus's nature, because I live with one, what would happen if Taurus did nothing at all to achieve his goal? What would be the alternative for the Seven of Wands? What would be the alternative for the Seven of Wands? What would be the alternative for the Seven of Wands? Which means if you did nothing at all. Three of Swords, a heartbreak. Oh, okay. Now we're getting somewhere. See, see, Taurus, you have two choices. A, you work hard, you achieve work. You, you focus and you go. You do what you do with your skills, and you can achieve success, and no problem. Or you could choose to do nothing and have heartbreak. Because these three things will, these last two things actually, will not be an opportunity. This is an e. This is a. This is an either one. You choose to turn, you choose your path. Either you take the courage, and you achieve it, and the rest of this comes peace, or you choose nothing at all, nothing at all, and basically, screw it. You are like miserable. Okay. Wow. Jeez. It's in your court. It's in your court, Taurus. Okay. Now I did the earth and did the air. I didn't do the water signs. I must do the water signs too, right? Why not? Let's get the water signs into. Let's get the water signs into. Which would be Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. So we'll start with Cancer first. And then we'll do Pisces, and then we'll do Scorpio, okay? Because it's alphabetically ordered, okay? Makes it easy. So let's start with Pisces. We're not going to do any reversals, so I'm going to just keep the simple. No reversals. I'm just going to keep the simple. So, okay, Pisces. Wild wow, little Pisces. You and Cancer are two of the most emotional signs in the water signs. Cancer's a lot more emotional than you, but still, you guys are cool. Okay? You're the spirit of the fish. You're the spirit of the fish. It's funny because Pisces was named Pisces. Okay? It's funny because right now we're in the age of Aquarius. You don't want to know what the age of Virgo was. Long, long ago. Actually, right before the time of the Egyptians, actually. Okay, so Mother got found out age of Spirit. And what is the story for Aquarius? I mean, for Pisces for July 19th until the 26th, 2022. Keep it simple, please. No reversals. Let's just do a reading for Pisces for the 19th through the 26th of 2022. Ooh. That's good. Moon card again. So there's transformation above. Ten of Pentacles. Heartbreak. Oh shit. Ten of Cups. Two Cups. Okay. Uh I know, I should have said we cancel first. Sorry, Pisces, but it's okay. But I don't think everyone's going to pick you today. Right now, you're having a Ten of Cups moment. They're obviously we're happy. You're doing good. That way, this is coming to an end. This is a Ten. Okay, so whatever this was, this happiness is coming to an end. 
You're not going to go through a transformation stage. You're going to change. Everything's going to change. Okay? Then, maybe you got a job, a career, or something. And now you, got, now you have wealth, financial success. But it's a 10, which means it's coming to an end also is an end. But now you got a heartbreak card. Why is it heartbreak? Who knows? But we do also have the Queen of Cups. But you know what the possibilities of ideas? Art. Humanitarian. So you're going to achieve something here. Something good. Something good. Partnership. A two cups partnership between two people. Maybe a new relationship. Maybe these three cards, first three, mean just like that. You were happily combat had a partner, but then things changed, and you're still more happy financially. But all of a sudden all that came to nothing. It's what something heartbreak, you broke up with somebody, and but you're gonna balance back because of your earth's humanitarian nature, and now you got the balance of two two cups, two happy people, another partnership of some sort. Wow. Dang. You can't even make this shit up if I wanted to. Okay, what is going to happen with the partnership, though? Ooh! Just like Job. You're going to get your balance of pentacles still in the process. Another partnership. Maybe another working relationship. Maybe a, maybe a relationship, a loved one, a new loved one. It also results in financial stability. This is addictive. Let's go to the next card. Yes! Us! <laughs> All right. Not only do you have success, you're always successful here. You got the two cups energy, which is water energy. You guys got some balance there. You guys get some financial stability. Okay? And then the outcome is this, the four of wands. Possibly marriage. Wow, Pisces. Fantastic. You are going to be in, in your element. You're going to turn that frown upside down. You're not going to be heartbroken long, that's for sure. You are not going to be heartbroken long, long time. Okay, now I did. This uh, did pick up new skin, cancer, and I apologize to cancer. I said that first. I'm sorry, my fault. Okay, cancer. Okay, mother asked my father, Yale, what's the story for cancer for July 19th through the 26th of July 2022? Keep it simple, please. No reversals. Oh, uh, yeah, there's another card laying on the table, right? Yeah, let's put that in the deck. It's okay. So I'm going to just read the cards, fold them up, fold them up, fold them up, fold them up, fold them up. Okay. This is for cancer now. Oh, awesome. You got your six of pentacles. You got the four of cups. Page of Wands. Oh shit, Sneaky Pete's here, number seven of swords. Wheel of for the Wheel of Fortune. A sense that Sneaky Pete tries to do something to sneak to get something out of it and he doesn't succeed. So what happens under the Wheel of Fortune? Queen of Wands energy. Cancer, cancer, cancer. You receive gifts and presents of some sort. Maybe gifts or skill or something that you have found that you have. Maybe something to do with music, something to do with creating paintings, arting, artist, writer maybe. 
and you're good at it. That's your gift. Or maybe that's your physical gift is received. However, I got the impression that you feel apathetic. See, the woman and sees she's got four, four cups and she's looking at the one of the thing off her and she's like, Yeah, you know, I really don't want it, you know, but yeah, okay, I'll take it. I know that can feel it. But the page of wands. Page of wands. And if you act a proclamation, okay, so he's proclaiming something. He's saying, listen up, something's coming. But then you got Sneaky Pete here. Why is Sneaky Pete here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Because that doesn't make it, okay, because everything else seems to be, it doesn't, Sneaky Pete doesn't succeed at changing things. Why is he here? Why is Sneaky Pete 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 here? Seven of Wands. Sneaky Pete is here because Sneaky Pete is here. <laughs> Come on, give me another card. Don't make give me a circle trick, please. All right, the cherry. Okay, so you're gonna move on from from something. Maybe because somebody's trying to screw you up, and so you change something. Now you have the Wheel of Fortune. Some success. Positive energy, dude. You achieved it. But well, what is. So what changed? That's the question. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups, happiness, energy. Now let's verify it here. Nine of Cups is Concord Contentment, Fulfillment, Wishes. So, fulfillment, wishes. Fulfillment of your wishes. And that's why we lie about this. The Queen of Wands energy. She reveals her powers of observation and leadership, ability, growth, development, passion. This could be a relationship. This could be a relationship. I mean, I think that might be what this is. It might be a relationship. To the Queen of Cups. End of that. <sighs> can't start, you can't win. Honestly, you get death card in here. The death card. End. This is over. Whatever it is, something ended. In other words, another relationship went down the toilet. That's what it sounds like. Come on. Knight of Swords, you're going in for a fight. You're not gonna, you're not gonna, let, you're not gonna let this guy, whatever it is. No, uh, you're going in there. You're saying, screw that. I'm fighting for what I believe in. And in the process of doing so, you got the King of the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands. Remember in that room here. The Knight of Wands.
He has shown his opponent journey. The approach to play or action change. So he's able to try and change something. It's like he's not going to get something. So I'm losing all. Okay? So you're going to, you're going to fight for what you believe in. Okay? You're not giving up. You're saying, screw that. I'm not giving up. The outcome of that is going to be temperance. You're going to find balance. You're going to find some kind of a balance here that works for you. In a sense, temperance is going to be so in something that's a final solution. Yes, the page of pentacles. Again, they're saying, hey, there's some good news coming your way. Yeah, and of course, you got, however, there is some, dis there is some disappointment. But it, I don't sense that's the end there. No, King of Pentacles says, dude, I got you covered. This is one of the most complicated cancer, but just like cancer emotions, you guys are on a roller coaster. They always are. You know, you go from one thing, you had a success, everything was going great, something went wrong, you are doing great again, had a real fortune. Okay. And that uh, went bad because of the genes and the death card. And you're fighting it for it. You say, screw it, I'm not gonna give up. I'm not I'm not gonna let this end that fast. And you're saying this, fine, okay, there's change that's coming, fine, I'm gonna fight for this. And then you do, even though this is a disappointment. In the end, you got the King of Pentacles. If that's not Cancerian energy, I don't know what is. <laughs> You guys are going to, you guys are going to fight it. You're not going to give up. No, because you really, really want this. You really, really want this. You've been, you guys are not quitters. You're loyal, you're hard, you have a hard spiritual life, but you guys are tough, tough, tough. Every kiss that I've known, is emotional, but they are fighters. They're not going to quit. Scorpio, however, is also a fighter, but I don't know <clears throat> what's going to go on for Scorpio for this time. What's going on for Scorpio July 19th to the 26th of 2022? What's going on for July 19th through the 26th, 2022 for Scorpio? Come on. What is the Scorpion going to be facing? Come on. Eight of Pentacles. You're using your skills. King of Pentacles. Magician. Queen of Pentacles, holy crap. <laughs> you can't do wrong here. The tower, the cherry. Uh oh, wait a minute. Now you're going to wait for something. But all this, you're going to wait for it. Okay. Where are you going to? You're going to the Six of Wands. You're going on a journey. Okay. Tomorrow is it, what's the result of the journey? The world card. Okay. My little scorpion, it looks to me like you have a lot of things going on here, and I'm going to break this down into segments because this has got both the king and the queen of pentacles here. Again, I sense it's because of your work, your workmanship, your efforts. I.e., you see that this person is making something. In this case, it looks like you're carving a pentacle. Okay. And the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. And it points the way to prosperity through hard work and focus. And through the hard work and focus, you get the magician card. Magician card says skill, diplomacy, determination, self confidence, action. So you have decided, 
Scorpio, to put your nose to the grindstone. You're determined to make it happen. And in doing so, you have the support of the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Fertility, security, dependability. Like a good neighbor, the Queen of Pentacles is there. Okay? She's there. She's supporting them. She's saying, you got it. Go get it, kid. Well, go, go, go get it, done, kid. What changes ahead? You're going to be moving on. Moving forward. Okay? The seven of uh, the charity is number seven. Which means you're moving on from something. You're a victory. You're, you're moving on to the next level. And in doing so, you get the number six, which is a travel or journey by water in between the location. The six of swords. The six of swords is journey by water, passage, healing, leaving troubles behind. And in doing so, in doing so, you also, I did forget to mention one. Sorry, I don't have anything to do with this one. All these cards on here, I can make sure I'm losing them. Ah, all right. Um, so right now, you got it going. Now, you're going to be taking a journey. And then doing so, bam, you got the world card. You have got, you achieved something, and you've moved on to greater things, and you're doing greater things. Wonder what happens after the wolf card? That's the wolf card. What happens after that? Formula too complex. Too many options. Yeah. Okay. So it's the opportunity. Too many options for me to list. You achieved it. You nailed it. You got it. This is it. You have achieved whatever it was that was doing good. But then again, by your hard work for some years, you got to the roll card and way too many possibilities to imagine. <laughs> you got it. Wow. Scorpio. Fantastic. I wish you the best. Really, I do. I really do. So, I have done... Yesterday I did five, I went two days ago, I did fire, today I did earth, I did air, and I did water. And let me just tell you, you guys are doing well. Aquarius, however, yeah, you got a little bit of a problem, but I think you can overcome Aquarius. You're the water bearer, right? You're the tough one. You got your head in the cloud, yet you know you can achieve success. Right away. Right away, your way, right away. And that is something that Clarice is so Clarice, you're one of the few that actually didn't have the best reading in the world, but you did do it, though. You did achieve it. You guys have got some good cards here. Be safe, be exceedingly glad. You guys have got. Hope, promise, but remember, it's up to you to put them into action. Tarot deck is not going to automatically make something start. Remember, it's up to you to begin the process. All right, let's get some of the oracle card out for today. Let's get the oracle card out for today. What is the card for today? Kara, Amplified Awareness. Amplified Awareness, number 14. Amplified Awareness.
Here I am. What a good guy this is. That was my awareness. Her message is, there's enough for everyone. Use your wisdom and power to manifest and achieve any goal. Be aware of your needs and desires. Do what you feel, do you feel envy. This is a normal human mode experience, so use it to your benefit. Instead of getting caught up in envious thoughts and feelings, allow jealousy to be a beam of light that illuminates exactly what you desire. It is important to know how to handle these feelings Whenever someone is jealous of you or of you of them, the root of it is usually a fear of insufficiency or a desire for something you don't believe you can have. For example, do you envy someone's great paying job or do you envy their ability to afford nice vacations? It's probably the vacation. It's probably the vacation and for that, you don't need a great paying job because there are many ways that a nice vacation can come to you. If someone else can do it, so can you. Amplify your awareness to know what you want and be encouraged and excited at the prospect of all you are of achieving. Bang on! Bang on! This is exactly what a lot of these readings are saying. You can do this! You're not limited. You're not stuck. You have the ability. Now go out there and make it happen. That's what I said. I wonder what I said about the Virgo reading. That was the same kind of reading I've been having for the last few, few days ahead of time. I realized that i got to do some work myself if I'm going to achieve something. So that's why I recently I'm saying that get out there and do the right stuff. Show you got the right stuff. Okay, guys, that's it. I just wanted to make sure you have a nice day. It's very hot outside, and that's why I did all three today, all three groups today, is because I wanted to get them all in, so I don't basically have to get into a hot sweat for the next few days. It's just going to be really, really hot. So for now, thank you all for watching these readings. We're going to do our best to have them every uh, week. I'm going to try. Okay, this is all new to me, so if you, if you are, please know if any of these readings don't resonate with you, please check your other signs in your chart. Your natal chart will tell you your other signs. Check your ascendant, your moon, your rising, and your Venus. Especially for Romeos. It might One of them may fit for you. Keep your mind open to all the possibilities. Okay, guys. See you later. Bye-bye. This is like a 16-inch grinder. <laughs> Hope you're hungry because you're going to be eating a lot of it. <laughs> no. I don't need them. Why would I want to have to put money well, into Well, I know you don't need them. Well, because you might want a big whopper. These I are the real know. deal, baby. These are real. <laughs> <laughs> but would you, you wouldn't want, you've seen Rosie. I mean, they're, they're I massive. Uh, I know, I, I know she's, but then again, we also see, like, other people that got those things. And what happens is after you get to be a certain age, everything sags. And Of course, we have the tools of trade, the the affine, affine, the calendar, the clapper. Let's call the spirits back real quick.
We take care of those past. Ow! Oh, that's gonna hurt. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Stay out of trouble, guys. I will see you tomorrow morning, normal time. Yep. Okay. <laughs>